Regardless of where we live or how tall and sturdy buildings become, there's still little that we can do to defend ourselves once nature unleashes its forces. Here's eight of the worst tornado attacks in history. Today's video was requested by Wondergamer. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 8. 1984 Soviet Union Outbreak On the 9th of June 1984, the Ivanovo and Yaroslavy regions, located north of Moscow, were affected by the deadliest tornado outbreak in Russian history. Over 400 people lost their lives. Out of the 11 twisters, at least two were equal to F4 and F5 intensity on the Fujita scale. The Fujita scale measures the intensity of a tornado, mainly based on the magnitude of the damage it causes. The single deadliest tornado observed during the outbreak was the one near the town of Ivanovo. Rating an F5, it leveled 1,180 homes and killed at least 95 people. Large industrial buildings and steel reinforced concrete structures were reportedly swept away. The half mile wide tornado storm produced some of the heaviest hailstones ever measured, with weights of 2.2 pounds. The tornado tracked for 99 miles before dissipating near Lonevo in Yaroslavi Oblast. Number 7. Bridge Creek Moor Tornado the highest winds ever recorded occurred during an F5 tornado on the 3rd of May 1999 that devastated southern parts of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, along with the surrounded towns and suburbs. The tornado traveled 38 miles during its 85-minute existence with wind speeds of over 301 miles per hour. The destruction began at 6.23 p.m. Central Daylight Time in Grady County, quickly reaching F5 status as it entered the town of Bridge Creek having traveled 6.5 miles. It varied in strength, but rose to F5 for a third time, shortly before devastating the city of Moore. It caused approximately $1.2 billion in property damage and claimed 36 lives, with another five people dying as a result of injuries or other complications sustained during the tornado. Seven churches, 11 public buildings, 260 businesses, and over 1,000 apartments were destroyed by the storm. A large-scale search and rescue operation took place in the impacted areas in the wake of the tornado. The following day, Bill Clinton, U.S. President at the time, signed a major disaster declaration which allowed the state to receive federal funding. On the 20th of May 2013, another F5 tornado hit the area, known as the 2013 Moore Tornado. The event was similar in size and followed a similar track to that of the 1999 one, but it was large and more costly, causing over $2 billion in damages, but wasn't as deadly with a death toll of 24 people. Number 6. 2011 Super Outbreak this was one of the deadliest, costliest, and largest tornado outbreaks in history, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake across the southern, midwestern, and northeastern United States. From Texas to New York to southern Canada, a total of 362 tornadoes were confirmed in 21 states. The combined individual paths of the events amounted to 3,200 miles, the 27th of April being the most active day of the outbreak. A record number of 280 18 tornadoes touched down from midnight to midnight, causing 317 of the total 348 fatalities that occurred throughout the event. Four of the tornadoes were destructive enough to reach F5 status. The outbreak was one of the most costliest natural disasters in United States history, causing $11 billion worth of damages. In May 2011, meteorologist and researcher John Davis wrote in his blog, I've looked through my own databases of tornado cases over the past decade and can't find any tornado environment that even approaches this one. One F5 tornado generated enough force to rip out pieces of ground from a field and asphalt from the road. Cars were left crushed by the raging winds. Three people lost their lives after their mobile home was reportedly thrown 300 yards into a tree line. Some areas were struck by tornadoes in successive sequence. The city of Cordova, Alabama was hit twice in one day on the 27th of April. That same day, Marshall County, Alabama was affected by tornadoes 15 
15 separate times. Over 300 transmission towers were mangled by the devastating winds causing power plants to shut down and massive power outages. Number 5. Sicily Tornadoes the Sicily Tornadoes were two twisters that swept through the Marsala countryside in the western part of the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies, present-day Italy. The event is said to have occurred in late November or early December 1851. They represent the oldest recorded instances of the phenomena on Italian ground. The Sicily Tornadoes began as two water spouts that traveled across the Sicilian plains from Marsala to Castellamere del Golfo. As they moved northeast, they evolved into a supercell of two massive tornadoes located less than 1,600 feet apart. Farmland was damaged by the heavy rain and hailstorm which followed the tornado's path. Castle and Mir was reportedly the most affected area as half the town was leveled and around 200 people were killed. The city harbor was severely damaged as vessels were capsized or destroyed with many crew and passengers being lost at sea. Even though the total number of victims remains unknown, many historians believe it was over 500. Number 4. Grand Harbor of Malta Tornado Better known as the Valletta Tornado, this is said to be the deadliest tornado ever to take place on the European continent. On the 23rd of September 1551, or 1556 according to some sources in the Grand Harbor of Malta, beginning as a water spout before turning into an intense tornado. At least four galleys belonging to the Navy of the Order of St. John, namely San Claudio, San Filippo, San Michel and Santa Fe, capsized during the tornado and over 600 people perished. Even though it's often referred to as the Valletta Tornado, construction on the city of Valletta began on the 28th of March 1566, which, depending on the source, is 10 or 15 years after the tornado struck. Number 3. 1969 East Pakistan Tornado in 1969, the city of Dekka was part of East Pakistan, present-day Bangladesh. On the 14th of April, a tornado hit the densely populated area, killing over 660 people and injuring thousands of others. That same day, a separate tornado hit Homna Upazila, part of the Komila district in Chittagon. The two twisters were part of the same weather system. The combined death toll of both tornadoes was estimated at 883, making the 14th of April 1969 the second deadliest day in the history of tornado-related fatalities. Number 2. Tri-State Tornado According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the deadliest tornado in United States history killed 695 people and injured 2,027. On the 18th of March 1925, it crossed from southeastern Missouri through southern Illinois and into southwestern Indiana. The Tri-State Tornado left a 151 to 235 mile long track, the longest ever recorded at that time. Although not officially recognized by the NOAA, most experts considered it an F5 tornado, the maximum damage rating available on the Fujita scale. It was the longest lasting tornado in world history as it carried on for nearly three and a half hours, wreaking havoc over an area of 164 miles. 13 counties in three states were affected and 15,000 homes were destroyed or severely damaged. One of the most amazing displays of the tornado's power took place in DeSoto, Illinois, where the trees were snapped at knee height and the stumps were ripped out of the ground. 33 of the 69 people that lost their lives in DeSoto were inside a school when the tornado struck. In the mining town of West Frankfort, most of the 148 deaths were women and children as the men were in the mine at the time. When the storm took out the electricity, they surfaced to find a decimated landscape. As the town of Parrish, Illinois was being ravaged by the storm, a man survived by holding onto a railroad track. Another man in Griffin, Indiana, reportedly survived by clinging onto a door handle as his house was blown away. Most of the devastation was attributed to the tornado speed, which averaged 62 miles per hour over its lifespan, peaking at 73 miles per hour. The meteorological conditions under which the tornado took place were considered to be rather unique. It ran along what's commonly referred to as the triple point 
point, an intersection between warm, cold, and occluded fronts near the center of low pressure. What was strange, though, was that prior to the storm, the weather in Gorham, Illinois, was rainy and drizzly with little wind and dark skies. Usually before a tornado strikes, the weather over is at least partly sunny or windy in the morning. As sunshine heats the moist air that runs along the surface, it causes it to explode into massive thunderheads in the afternoon. The tri-state tornado was part of a larger outbreak that saw the deaths of at least 747 people. Number 1. Dalatpur Saturia Tornado Widely regarded as the most devastating tornado in recorded history, the Dalatpur Saturia Tornado caused the deaths of approximately 1,300 people and produced an estimated $1.5 million worth of property damage. It occurred in the Manik Ganj district in Bangladesh. On the 26th of April 1989, the tornadic conditions are believed to have been generated by a state of drought that had reportedly affected the area for six months. The cities of Dalatpur and Saturia were the most impacted by the tornado. The damage was extensive as the storm at rooted countless trees and destroyed every home within the four square mile radius of its path. 12,000 people were injured and around 80,000 people were left homeless. Information on the full extent of the damage is limited due to the rural and isolated nature of the event. According to an article in the Bangladesh Observer, aside from a few skeletons of trees, there were no standing structures left behind by the storm. The tornado had an average width of a mile with a maximum of one and a half carved a 50 mile long path through the slums of Bangladesh, Manik Ganj and Saturia were completely destroyed. The most famous of these was the story about a giant human skeleton uncovered in the desert during gas exploration in Saudi Arabia. Pictures were included, linked with the Islamic story of the Prophet Hud and the powerful giant tribe of Ad. 